The mortgage market has seen a lot of stress in the past years, but margin call was one of the big ones. So what is a margin call? Essentially is when a broker dealer is asking for the mortgage company to buy the mortgage back. Um, securities that they shorted. This was a mouthful. What the heck does that mean? Well, to understand it, we have to discuss what is a rate lock. How does a rate lock work? When a lender tells you that they've locked your rate, what does this truly mean? A rate lock is nothing more than a promise. A promise that you will receive the interest rate that we're saying we will give you within a certain period of time. However, even though you are locked, we the lenders are still on the hook because mortgage markets constantly move and rates are going up or down. As such, by the time we close that rate we promised you, that might not be the rate at the time for us. What does this mean? Well, we can either make a lot of money if rates went down or lose a lot of money if rates went up. Lots of risk, especially in a volatile market. So what do mortgage companies do in order to mitigate this risk? We hedge. Simply put, we hedge our lock loans by shorting mortgage-backed securities or their equivalent. Before we get into this concept, let's look at an example. Let's say we locked or promised you a rate of 4% at par, which means 100 basis point price. However, when loan is ready to close and the market has changed and pricing has gotten worse, and now it is down to 98 or two basis points, meaning for instance, 98,000 on a $100,000 loan, we're losing money now. So what do we do? The 200 basis points does not seem like a lot, but assume the mortgage company has a pipeline of 100 million. Well, then they lose $2 million. We hedge by looking at mortgage-backed securities. This is similar to shorting in the stock market. Shorting means taking the stock you do not own and selling it today and then buying it back in the future for what you hope is a cheaper price. But how do you sell something you do not have? but you own them, but you are short the shares because you do not own them. Essentially, you borrow the shares that you do not own. You sell the shares that you do not own, but you are obligated to buy them back. We'll get charged something to borrow them as well. If the price keeps getting out of control and keep increasing, then the person you borrowed it from will not let it get too high. They will do a margin call and require the mortgage company to buy it back. What happens if the price gets better? Do you make a profit? Theoretically, let's see an example of how this works with mortgage-backed securities. Short mortgage-backed securities or an equivalent that will give a profit when mortgage rates go up or mortgage rates go down. In the trading account, sell mortgage-backed security short, sell today at a time of the lock in the same price that the customer thinks that they are getting, and if pricing gets worse at day of closing, then they buy it back at 98 and then make 200 basis points, or for every 100 million, they make 2 million. But do you celebrate the gain? No, why not? Because you still promise that customer 4% at 100 par, so you have that gain to cover the additional expense on the rate promise that you now cost you 98. Essentially, they are offsetting. This would work the same if rates get better as well. But what becomes problematic when buyers come to you and say, well, I'm going to go with this other lender with a better rate unless you try to match it. Then you could come into a situation where the mortgage company is at a loss too high to offset with their hedging. And that's why a mortgage lender might not be able to match the rate that you're asking them to match. I hope that by understanding this hedging process and how rates are locked, you understand why your lender is maybe not able to match your rate or why your lender is locking your rate the way they are. Thank you.